I'm close to 40 now. I used to think Juicy J was so fine. I still think Project Pat looked decent. Like, I mean, like, I know a lot of people are like, but the gold teeth, though. Okay, well, ignore the gold teeth. Ignore it. All the things that this man that went through, the drugs he done done, done he still look good. Like, it just is what it is. Project Pat, you look good. <laughs> no disrespect to uh, Juicy J's wife. Juicy J, you still look decent, too. So, I'm just saying. Shoot. Said what I said. Um, <laughs> uh, I wonder if Lil White gonna be there. That was one of the... Yo! Outside of everybody and their mama just automatically hollering Eminem when you think of a white rapper, Lil White was so nice with it. You ain't gonna never, ever be able to tell me that Lil White was not no nice white rapper. I don't think I ever heard him say the N-word if he did. I don't remember. I just don't. I don't remember. But anyway, Lil White was nice with it. Um, Gangsta Boo was everything. She looked good. It's like she got better with time. Have y'all seen her from the time she started to what she looked like now? Her and La Chat. La Chat still out here doing it. I follow her on Instagram and things. Um, I've seen where um, uh, Gangsta Boo has done like juking contest, like hosted juking contest. Like people do a lot of juking contests and whatnot or just doing juking videos and they use a lot of Three Six Mafia songs, which makes sense because it's a Memphis thing. Juking is everything, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I have been watching juking videos for like the last 12 years. Yeah, like I live for juking. Like, I wish I could juke. I really do wish I could. If you don't know what juking is, if you ever heard of Duke Deuce and you saw any of the times that he would dance, that's juking. That's juking. J-O-O-K-I-N. Juking. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> um, if you ever saw the side-to-side -side video, they did it in that. Um, yeah. Um... So, yeah, let me get on to some of the songs that I feel like they're going to do. They might do Stay Fly. I don't know if they're going to do the unedited version, which is high. I gotta stay high till I die. Y'all, I know I'm, I'm being silly. Okay. Um, sipping on some scissor. Come on now. Okay, let me calm down. Because, like, for me, for me, it's the fact that they had Pimp C on it, though. Like, I live. Long live Pimp C. I live for Pimp C. I live for him. And it's just it's just the fact that he was one of them woke, if you will, <laughs> um, rappers as well. Like, he saw what the music industry was doing to try to pit these people against one another. And it was people within the rap community. Like, he was literally in songs like, y'all need to stop fighting each other and come together and a lot of these people lived in the same cities in the same states and they were battling one another and hated each other wanted to kill one another it's like for what pimpsey was everything i said what i said anyway long live um pimpsey dag nabbit um what's what, what's the man name i don't know why i forgot his name chad long live chad dag nabbit said what i said shout out to his wife his beautiful black wife. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, y'all. Okay. So, I really hope that they do pop in my collar. But guess why? Because there's an Alabama connection. Because, uh, first of all, I don't know how many of y'all know this as far as the Alabama connection is concerned. They got the song idea, I guess you could say from a rapper who was no longer with us. He had a heart attack some years back. And that rapper is uh The Last Mr. Biggs, aka uh The Last Mr. Big, aka Diamond Eye and all of that. Um you literally hear him singing the song Ever since I could remember I would pop in my car. That's literally his voice. That's literally the last Mr. Big from Alabama. From Alabama. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> even when that man passed away, uh, Three Six Mafia members got on their social media handles and, you know, shouted him out and said, rest in peace and all that other stuff. Like, that man was in the video. Okay, y'all, I got to calm down. The man was in the video. <laughs> the man was in the video. 
He was in the video with the diamond eye in his head. Like, okay, so yeah. So if y'all missed that part, go ahead and go watch the video. Go ahead and stream it up real quick. Run them streams up real quick for 3-6 Mafia and Bone Thugs and Harmony. But yeah, if y'all ain't seen that video, go look at Diamond Eye. Uh, that man got some awesome songs still out here. His son be out here rapping and things. But yeah, um, go ahead. Alabama legend. Rest in peace. The last Mr. Big. That man is everything. Well, he was everything. Um, <clears throat> Y'all, I had the last to walk. Um... I had the last to walk album. Let me tell y'all which songs I live from that. Let's see. That that's right song. It kind of caught me off guard that I liked it. It was featuring Akon. I don't know if they're gonna do that. Um, they actually had some moments where, if I'm not mistaken, I think that was the CD where they were like mixing old songs with other little beats and stuff but anyway let me see it was like a couple of songs i really was here for it look it's a song called dirty beat and i don't know why i like that song <laughs> no what's wrong with me y'all i don't know what's wrong uh lolly lolly was on there that was something that actually made it mainstream made made it to mainstream i was very shocked about that um did i do first 48 yeah, it was like a very select few songs on that CD that I really lived for. So, yeah. Um, let me see. I'm going to try to find some more uh, albums that I can tell y'all about. Um, let me just think off the top of my head. Because, yeah, Choices. Ch uh, the, 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 the Choices album. Okay. Because I was like, come on now, you know. Two-Way Freak. She's a two-way freak. A two-way freak. Y'all know that song. I think I actually heard that on the radio at some point in time, and I was shocked. Uh, Posse song is one. <clears throat> Had some of everybody named Mama on that. Um, baby Mama, she's my baby mama. I'm on child support. That actually made it mainstream a little bit, too. I was shocked. It was featuring the chat. I was very shocked. Um, Gangsta Ends. That song used to get me so hype at school, too. It was like, we up all night. Like, listen, I don't smoke nothing. I don't drink that stuff. I don't do nothing. They be make these, these rappers. Like, when people find out that I like Project Pat, they be like, do you know what he's rapping about? Do you know what he's talking about? Do you know he's about that life? And I'm like, yeah, I ain't about none of that. I ain't smoked nothing. I ain't sniffed nothing. I ain't shot nothing. I ain't done none of that. I ain't been to jail. Project Pat, I ain't going back to jail. I ain't going back to jail. Let me calm down. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. OV, oh my gosh, me and my friend Mike. That was our song when we were in college. Wanna run up on me? It's OV. Test the age two to see. Y'all don't understand. So anyway, that was one of them moments where they they had moments where they were clearly called Three Six Mafia, but they would say Test the H H uh hypnotized cat posse. Yeah, Test the H T to the P. It's O V. Y'all know O V means over. Okay, just in case y'all didn't know, but that song used to bop. Oh my gosh. Listen, y'all. Okay. Now, somebody might come for me when I say this. It is what it is. But there are people, a whole lot of people, who think that there is one of the rappers that is a part of 3-6 Mafia who is not as strong. And I, I've, I've heard people say that it is akin to how people feel like Silk the Shocker was not that great of a rapper, which I, agree, I do not agree. I do not agree with that. Uh, Silk the Shocker was everything. Just because y'all felt like he wasn't on beat, Silk the Shocker was everything. Silk the Shocker, fine. Silk the Shocker got final and final with time. It's like, how, sway? Anyway, excuse me. I'm sorry. We on on a different, we on something different today. So anyway, um, but yeah, Crunchy Black. Okay. So there's this one song in particular that I, I love off of um, one of Crunchy Black's albums. I listened to this song. A couple of times a week. Um, let me put it in because I want to make sure I tell y'all the real name of it. Because it's everybody named Mama on it. It's called Where the Cheese At. 
All I want to know is where the G's at, where the cheese at. Keep it easy. You don't want to get skeeted. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> and then, like, he come on and he be like, yeah, rock. Yeah, still. Yeah, put your body in a field. <laughs> like I said, I don't do none of that stuff. But listen, that song get me so hype. I be like, wait. What y'all not finna do is this. So yeah, me mug, all of that. Like, listen. Um Riding on Chrome. Okay, I like that song. Okay. I'm trying my best not to go to no Project Pat songs because that is always my go-to. I live for Project Pat. I'm not gonna do it. Um, they got choices and they got choices too. When the smoke clears, is I don't know, that might be my most favorite CD ever. Okay, so 44 killers. Oh my gosh. Y'all don't understand. I'm about to blow that blow as off. Y'all got to hear it. It's just the way it come on. They said it oil. They be sending it off. Then they got Pastor Troy said, uh, 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 like send it off too. It's like, why? Who did something to them? Like, just when you hear it come on, it's like it's automatically finna be a fight. It make you need it make you feel like you need to go load up the guns, pop the trunk on somebody. I just be like, what happened? Who did it? Like, y'all, I ain't got the first gun yet. And I really be feeling like I need to go somewhere and pop a trunk. <laughs> so, okay. I already told y'all it's a song. It's called Week A B. That song is everything. I don't know why. Like, they really set it off. Because it's it's one of those, like, call and response types moments. Like, it, it's a, when I say week A, you say B. And then he said week A, and then it has somebody scream B. And it's literally like that, y'all. Okay, so everybody come in with their verse. The music drop. the music a lot. Man, please, Three Six Mafia. Three Six Mafia, please. I'm begging you, please play that song. Please play it. Please play that song. I understand that Lord Infamous is not here no more. Rest in peace. Lord Infamous was Lord Infamous was everything now. Come on now. Come on now. Man, somebody should have gave that man his flowers while he was living. Lord Infamous was everything. Okay, y'all. So please play that song. Please play that song. Thank you very much. Um, I'm so high. All I smell like it smoke and that mother effing green and that got darn dope. I don't smoke anything. That song used to make my car sound like I had a amazing sound speaker speaker in it. I don't know how, but that's what they used to do. Mafia ends because I don't say the n word either anymore. That was a long time ago. I stopped doing that. That was a good song. Um, child from the back. We ain't even gonna go into that. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> Alright, told y'all where the cheese at. Tongue ring. That went mainstream. Did y'all remember that song? Let me see, let me see, let me see your tongue ring. Let me, let me see, let me see, let me see your tongue ring. That was a song that went mainstream. Which you know. That was a good song that had Big Gip on it. Um, Act Like You Know Me was a good one. Um, Just Another Crazy Click. Who run it with mainstream to... Who run it? Who run it? What up? DJ, first of all, y'all, I should have led with shout out to DJ Paul being on the ones and twos. That man literally is a DJ. Um, I used to watch him on his lives all the time when he would do his own like D nice type of situation. And he would really be up there and he'll play songs. Sometimes it's just stri strictly three, six mafia songs or whatever, or his songs. Cause he's had his own like moments of just having his own music. Or he would play all kinds of songs that they had him do a rap. Get, get that man his flowers. Do y'all know? I, I'm pretty sure that DJ Paul is still rich based off of people sampling his music, sampling his tracks. A lot of this stuff outside of like Project Pat having his own, you know, celebrity and um, Juicy J having his own celebrity. He get checks hand over fist. He got to be. He got to be. So anyway, uh, who run it? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to go over like one more record <laughs> and then, uh, I'm gonna go because I done held y'all for a long time. I can't help it. These people are so excited. I cannot wait to see what they actually put. 
out there for us to see. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Okay, y'all. So let me see what else they got. Um, I wonder if Lil White gonna be there. I wonder who all gonna actually be there, like for real. Um, <clears throat> y'all, it used to be a song. <laughs> Well, actually, there is a song that one of the rappers that's out now named Trouble um, sampled. He did, um, what is that song? It's a nasty, it's a nasty song, y'all. That's all I'm going to say. It's vulgar, I guess you could say, that he sampled. Um, what is the song? Um... Y'all, I like, I can't think of the song right now. But anyway, um, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's a trouble, it's a trouble song. But uh it's three six mafia or um Juicy J song. I think it's a three six mafia song, but it was Juicy J saying a lot of the stuff that he was saying in the song. That's what it was. And I think when the man did the video, he shouted out Juicy J or something in it. So it might have been a Juicy J song, because Juicy J did a lot of songs. Back in the day before he really started popping like he is in recent years. So, yeah, it was one of those older songs. Like, people be sampling them. Man, people stay sampling Project Pat. Lord, duh. They gonna, they gonna learn to get these people. They flowers. So, anyway, uh, I love Dope Boy. Dope, the Dope Boy. Fred, I love that song. Love that song. Um, uh, If they allow Project Pat to have some moments where he's doing songs... Child, the the Getty Green album. Child, what else? He got a couple of albums that I like, but Getty Green. I think I bought mostly, mostly Getty Green. Um, Project Pat. I do mostly Getty Green, y'all. Um, and a lot of people. It's funny because a lot of people. I've had people to really try me about Project Pat, and it's like. Do you know that some of your favorite new artists be sitting up here sampling him, 3-6 Mafia and everybody else that you love to my, oh, they trash, they ain't got nothing going on. They sure will be sampling. Yeah, blunt to my lip, gun on my hip, rocks in my sock, pocket full of chips. <laughs> like I said, like I said, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't do none of this stuff, but I be, li <laughs> I be listening to it. Listen, that never be a G. That actually had, again, another Alabama connection. It had uh, Dobie, rest in peace, he got killed. See, he was at the Rose Supper Club. I don't know what they call it now, but when I was at in, in attendance at Alabama State University, right up the street, at the end of the street, is this club that used to be called the Rose Supper Club. He was up in there, and this other girl was in there. They both got killed. One of my other classmates, who was a part of um, Deuce Comrades, look them up because had he still been alive, they would have went far. They really would have gone far. Um, he got killed up in there. Like, he he got killed leaving out of that club. Like, he was leaving. And I, I never went and, like, this girl who was the valedictorian, she was up in there with her husband, dancing with her husband. They shot her in the foot. I'm like, what? Child, I cannot do clubs. I'm not doing them. Y'all do what y'all do, but yeah. Um, but like I said, Dobie, He's from Montgomery. He passed away. And again, 3-6 Mafia and them shouted him out, but he was on that song, um, Never Be a G. He was one of the people that was featured in it. It was a Project Pat song featuring his brother, Juicy J, Doby, and all of that. So, yeah. Um, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all gonna get me. It's okay. I don't know how I feel about Pooh Shiesty. I kept hearing about a Pooh Shiesty, and I'm like, what in the world? Then I found out it was a man. I was like, okay. Then I started hearing how he rap, and I was like, okay, what is going on here? Um, but yeah, I like that little uh, tell him no song. Uh, Keep the grass cut and the snakes will show. But that bit purr that he be saying, I'm like, what? I really thought some woman came up with that. Did he come up with that? Did, did Pooh Shice to come up with that? What is going on? But anyway, um, it is what it is. Uh, another moment where Juicy J and Project Pat, the brothers, were on a Duke Deuce album. Um, that was my first introduction to Duke Deuce. To, yeah, Duke Deuce uh, was the Crunk Ain't Dead. Because I am used to Crunk when it was alive and well. Because people used to try to say, oh, Crunk is dead. 
Cause Lil John ain't out here like that no more, and he really out here DJing and doing whatever he doing. Okay, cool, whatever. When he came out with this, I was like, oh my gosh. Then they got the Project Pat part. I was like, oh, oh wait a minute, Project Pat, you done went off. You almost made me. We ain't even finna go into that. But uh, Project Pat was rapping fast. He was setting it off. If you ain't never heard that, listen to the last verse. On Duke Deuce's song, Crunk Ain't Dead Remix, that is featuring Lil Jon, Juicy J, and Project Pat. Project Pat sets it off. Like, I had to play this for my friend that I told y'all looks like Cornelius from Ready to Love. And I was like, because what Project Pat, he says, jewelry, jewelry, something to something. Like, he, he was rapping fast. I can't do it. But yeah, Project Pat was setting it off, and I was doing this the whole time. And he was just like, see, I can't stand you. He was laughing. I'm like, you know you like this song. Like, don't be trying to play Project Pat. Do not try to play him to the left. So many people be sitting up here sampling this man on one head. So many people sit up here and sample Three Six Mafia. But anyway, y'all, I could go on all day. As y'all seen, I've already gone on almost 45 minutes. I apologize in advance, but these people, I love both of these groups. I think this is going to be an amazing versus. I'm so excited. Y'all don't understand how excited I am. It's a long time coming. They were supposed to do this like a year ago on their own without versus slash thriller. So the fact that they about to get some good money on top of just doing what they do. Come on now. Come on now. They about to get all kinds of good money just for doing what they normally do. But anyway, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Um, I'll be back after the versus is over with. Uh, the next day or whenever it's going to be. Um, so yeah, to, to let y'all know my reaction, uh, to see if any of the other songs that I didn't think of in these moments that I was on here actually came up and they did them. But anyway, thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Thumbs this video up. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.